Now at 4.30, who doesn't love a discount? If you're looking for a new furry friend, we've learned that you may run into more of them when you visit Indianapolis Animal Care and Control. That's because of a new city ordinance now in effect. And the Now's Ann Kelly spent the day looking into this new rule. And Ann, it's a big change that city hopes will lead to more adoptions. Exactly, Candace. Lead to more names up on this adoption board with that new ordinance you mentioned, allowing animal care and control to do something that it's never been able to do before, cut adoption prices without outside help. To clarify, before this new city ordinance, you may have noticed Animal Care and Control did have discounts. It cut its $60 adoption fee when possible, but what you may not have realized that in those cases, an outside group had to offer to pay the difference. Now, the city essentially saying it will subsidize adoption fees. If the shelter is overloaded with animals, if something needs to be done to bring more people in, Animal Care and Control just needs to go to code enforcement, explain the issue, and with approval can drop its prices. It doesn't have to wait for a nonprofit to find funds. This will just make us more efficient and ultimately who does that help? It helps all the animals who are calling us home for right now. The faster we can move them out, the better our life save rate is. The cheaper the adoptions, the more animals find homes, the fewer have to be put down due to a lack of space. It's a new idea that already is saving lives. The first city funded discount is actually running right now with any animal that's been up for adoption more than 30 days available for just $10. And Candace, all these red race flags signaling an animal who was adopted in part thanks to that price cut. Reporting for the Now Indy at Animal Care and Control, Ann Kelly, RTV6.